This one's going to be on Calibre. Uh, it's really good for people that owns a uh, e-ink device, like a Sony Reader, uh, a Kindle, and all that. Now, this is the wizard you get when you first uh, get it, and uh, click next. Now here's where you choose uh, which device you have. You see, so the Amazon uh, Kindle One and Two, uh, DX also. Uh, I don't know why they have the the uh, the uh, Mac. Um, was it the Apple iPod Touch and iPhone? That's not even the e ink, dude. Come on now. But you can convert them. Okay, so what is this? The side book, the jet book, uh, B book. Okay, the Android phone. Uh, handling I never heard of that but I have the Sony okay and they have um, different versions here so that's the 500 and for the 505 and all that you use this one where it says pocket and uh, it's also good for uh, the touch edition so that's what I'm gonna use and that's it you're done with that now the interface will open soon now the thing I don't like about this is big fucking icons um I don't really really need that but uh, that's how it is okay uh, so let me see what you can do on here <clears throat> first of all you wanna import your books just drag it into this interface okay right here whether it be uh, CBR, CBZs, uh, PDFs um, they, they support a lot but uh, just drag it in here and it will uh, copy the file and uh, put it in here uh, so that's what you can do First thing you can do is uh, edit the 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 meta information if you want. Not really necessary, but uh, it's good if you have it on your you know your your reader, your ebook reader. Um, so here you go. Edit that thing. Not not a big deal. Not that hard. <clears throat> and uh, what else is there? Oh, the main selling point of this is um, it can convert ebooks, okay, uh, to uh, you know your device uh, format. So. Let me do one here. Uh, you see that this one is a PDF right here, PDF format. And if I want to convert it, click here. Now <clears throat> they have some other, um, you know, stuff that you can do over here on the side. But basically, you just want it the output format. So your input is a PDF, is input and output. Um, the easiest way to do it is up here. You know where you want to convert it. Uh, what kind of format you want to convert it to? EPUB is the open standard uh, for books or ebooks um, on a you know e-ink device. But you can use other ones like LRF is the Sony uh, the DRM format. If you want to use that on uh, the Sony, um, and they have a few others, but mainly EPUB is where you want to be. Okay. So let me do one. Click OK, and you see it, it's working. You have this little glass hour here, and once it's done, it will say up top here. And now you have uh, EPUB and all that right here, EPUB and PDF. And if you want to view it, just right-click on it and go to View. They have a specific format, and you can choose one or, or the other, and it will open. Um, that's all. Or if you want the file, you can actually open. Um, Oh, what up? Let me. Lo I just load that up. Uh, this is how it looks like if uh, you're reading from your computer, but on your um, your device itself, it look better. Uh, so uh, that's the one. And now, if you want to actually get the file yourself, or you want to delete a specific file, you can do that by opening the the folder. And you see, you have a EPUB and a PDF. So if you want to delete one, uh, you could. Uh, so that's how it's handled. And um, all the information is here. You see how it has the the size of it, uh, the date, and all that. Great. <coughs> now you can do like I said, CBR, CBZs. Also, if you like. Um, let me see here, CBR, right? Um, the the other good cool feature about this is um, the the fetching the news feature is basically an RSS uh, of your favorite uh, you know feeds. And you know me, I love the RSS thing. But the point of this is, it takes the information from the RSS and it converts it to uh, the format that your know, your device reads. Okay, so that you can subscribe to a, a different feed. So they have a few here already for you. Um, but if you want to add in other ones, you could also. But you can see there's a lot of stuff you can um, you know already do right now. So there's Ars Technica, and if you want to download it now, 
um, or you can set up a schedule if you like but let's say I mean download it and see what happens and click OK uh, wait until he's do his job so we'll get back to that when it's done but uh, the next thing is um, now this is pretty cool also it says send to device let me actually uh, plug in my device here so you can see um, I like how it, it auto detects uh, you know your device when it pops in and um, it will show it here once it's done so you see it says uh, Sony um, pocket edition right here and it pops up this thing right here great you know it doesn't go anywhere else uh, you see how you can access your stuff in here look at that and you can read the, the stuff that you have on your device also great it's all here and you have an SD card and also it will show up right here also if you have an SD card uh, attached to it too I love that it's a convenience uh, you know and if you you want to uh, send this file let's say um, this RSS feed see, the RSS is done now this is the feed here alright it's been converted to EPUB already so that's the Arch Technica uh, the feed that we just had and let's say we send it to uh, our device so send to device here and it's sending uh, I like this it's done now you go to your device you have Arch Technica look at that great see one step I love it <clears throat> uh, so that's pretty much it the selling port is uh, it can convert to just about all the formats that, that you know the device can support and uh, it can fetch news which is good for people that you know wants to read their feeds uh, on the go and uh, you know they're not with their uh, computer now some devices can, can support you know uh, wireless and all that but um, you know if your device doesn't then you can use this method uh, you know just plug it in uh, charge it overnight or, or something and you fetch all your news and you read it on your subway or something or a way to work great um, so that's pretty much it it's not perfect uh, by any means if I go to preference here you see how it has some errors I, I couldn't even get to any of these other um, thing here but overall um, I think this is the greatest um, open source um, you know program for these type of devices and it does work on the Mac and Windows also so and there you go there's another reason to get it because it works cross-platform um, so that's pretty much it there was this error where you you convert uh, you know your CBR files and it doesn't fucking work <laughs> but I finally I uh, got that to uh, get fixed it and I'll show you that next time uh, to convert the uh, comics into uh, EPUBs in any other format uh, with this program specifically uh, so that's it for this.